Okay, so here we have another brain teaser, which involves rolling two dice. And the rules of the game are that you're allowed to pick any number from a six-sided die. And you must roll two dice at the same time. If your number does not show up, you lose a dollar. If your number shows up once, then you win two dollars. And if your number shows up twice, then you win five dollars. And the question is, is this a fair game? Which means, does the dealer and the player have the same chances of winning? In a fair game, the player and the dealer should technically always break even. Alright, so I want you to take your time and think about this brain teaser. Uh, this is also a classic statistics question involving probability. So if you are taking a statistics class or if you're just really good at probability, then you might be able to figure this out quite easily. Um, if not, just take your time, think about it, pause this video, and then come back. And in the rest of this video, we will go over the answer to this question together. Okay, so I stated at the beginning of this problem that we can pick any number from a six-sided die. All right, so let's just pick any number. Let's just pick the number two. All right, so every time we roll the number two, we're going to win some money. And before we get started, I want to talk about the chances of actually rolling a two for one die individually. Okay, each die has six faces, and only one out of those six is a two. So the chances of actually rolling a two is one out of six. And the same concept applies if you do not roll a through. Don't, sorry, do not roll a two. Five out of the six faces do not contain the number two, and there's six faces total, so the chances of not rolling a two is five out of six. So that's a really important concept to, uh, to remember before we get started with this problem. All right, so what is the probability that after we roll the dice, that we have no twos. And I think this is pretty common sense. If we have no twos, we know that our first dice definitely cannot be a two. And the probability of not having a two is five out of six. And once again, this is pretty common sense. If we have no twos, then our second dice can also not be a two. And the probability of that happening is five out of six. And if we multiply these two fractions together, we have in the top 5 times 5, which is 25. And in the bottom, we have 6 times 6, which is 36. So the probability of having no 2s after we roll the dice is 25 out of 36. All right, so now let's find the probability of having exactly one 2. Okay, once again, we're finding the probability of having exactly one, two. Okay, and we have to be careful before we figure out this probability because there's actually two different combinations. Uh, let's say that the first dice is a two and the second dice is not a two. All right, so let's just find out the probability that only the first dice is a two. All right, so what's the probability that our first dice is a two? All right, the probability that it is a two is one out of six. And our second dice is not a two, so the probability of that is five out of six. All right, and if we multiply these fractions together, we have one times five, which is five in the top, and we have six times six, which is 36 in the bottom. All right, so there's actually another combination where there's exactly one, two. All right, this is the combination when only the second dice is a two. All right, so now we're finding the probability that only the second is a two. All right, so we know that our first dice is not a two, and the probability of that is five out of six. And the second dice is a 2, so the probability of that is 1 out of 6. And if we multiply these two fractions together, we also have 5 out of 36. All right, so notice how both these combinations, I'll label them 1 and 2, both of these combinations have exactly 1, 2 in them. 
All right. So in order to find the probability of having exactly one two, we just need to add these two combinations together. So let's add five over thirty six plus five over thirty six, and that will give us the probability of having exactly one two. So if we add these two fractions together, we have 5 plus 5, which is 10, and our bottom stays the same. So the probability of having exactly 1, 2 is 10 over 36. I'm not going to reduce it because it's going to make it easier later on in this problem. Okay, so let's find the probability of having exactly two twos. Once again, we're finding the probability of having exactly... Two twos. So if we have exactly two twos, I think this is common sense. We know that our first dice has to be a two. So the probability that it is a two is one out of six. And once again, if we have exactly two twos, we know that our second dice also has to be a two. And the probability of that is also one out of six. And if we multiply these two fractions together, we have 1 times 1, which is 1, over 6 times 6, which is 36. So the probability of having exactly two twos is 1 over 36. All right, so let's zoom out and take a look at everything that we've just done. All right, so here I zoomed out. And if you remember from before, our probability of having no twos was 25 out of 36. All right, so that means 25 out of 36 times, we are actually going to lose $1. All right, and our probability of having exactly one two is 10 out of 36. So that means 10 out of 36 times, we're actually going to win $2. All right, and our probability of having exactly two twos is 1 over 36, so 1 out of 36 times we are going to win $5. So the question is, is this a fair game? Okay, so let's calculate the estimated winnings for the player to figure out if this is a fair game. If the estimated winnings are 0, that means that he breaks even, the dealer breaks even, and it is a fair game. Alright, so the estimated winnings I'll just label that EW for estimated winnings. And let's assume that we play this game 36 times. Since we have a 36 in all of our denominators, we're going to assume that we're going to play this game 36 times. And out of 36 times, we're actually going to lose a dollar 25 out of 36 times, because that's what happens when we have no twos. So 25 times we're actually going to lose a dollar. So I'm going to multiply 25 times negative one dollars and that negative sign just represents that we lost a dollar. All right, so now let's add our winnings. Okay, we know that if we get exactly one two, that's going to happen 10 times out of 36. So 10 times out of 36, we're going to win two dollars. So I'll multiply 10 times by a positive two dollars since we're winning two dollars and that's going to represent our winnings if we roll exactly one two all right so let's calculate our winnings from rolling two twos all right we're going to roll two twos one out of 36 times all right so one time we're actually going to win five dollars so i'm going to multiply one time by a positive five dollars all right, so let's figure out what our estimated winnings are. We have 25 times negative 1, which is negative $25. Uh, we have 2 times 10, which is $20. Negative 25 plus 20 is negative $5. And then we have $5 times 1, which is a positive $5. Negative 5 plus positive 5 gives us a estimated winnings of $0. So we have figured out that, yes, indeed, this is a fair game because our estimated winnings is $0. So this is the answer to our problem. I hope you enjoyed this brain teaser. I will be posting more in the days to come, so subscribe and stay tuned.
I hope you enjoyed this, and until my next video, I will see you later.